Hey guys, Jay Cross here. I wanted to do another video um, after the boss strike, and I was thinking I would do it about the new railgun units. Um, <clears throat> I finally got my last uh, unit today, the railgun sniper, so I've been playing around with it. It's rank one. The rail railgun buggy was uh, something that was given to me on a mission, so during one of the missions you'll get one of those for free um, and the railgun tank was the first unit that I got <clears throat> uh, I, I have it ranked up to two I've not been impressed yet with the railgun tank um, the only thing I like about it is it has um, a lot more hit points and armor <clears throat> but it doesn't have a lot of defenses so it's uh, it gets uh, that armor and gets taken out pretty quickly uh, let's just look at some of the stats of of these guys. The railgun tank <clears throat> rank 2 does 132 to 198 damage. Um, cooldown of 4 <clears throat> so after you shoot every time it's going to take four, 4 turns before you can shoot it again. Um, <clears throat> it's ready to fire. doesn't have a cooldown period so it's ready to fire right at the beginning. Um, ranges from 1 to 5 so <clears throat> anywhere on the board uh, you can put the tank in the very back like this and hit anywhere on the board. I do like that about it. Uh, it has a base crit of 10, 5% uh, if it's a soldier, 20% if it's a vehicle. <clears throat> what I do like about it and what I was so promising about these units is their armor piercing. Uh, this one has 80% armor piercing. Um, offense is 61. Um, it's gotten better since it's ranked 2, and it'll, <clears throat> but it originally at rank one it would miss a lot um, so that was a difficult thing for me <clears throat> only has one shot that's available to this unit um, the railgun buggy it, of course only has 300 hit points uh, 120 damage to 180 <clears throat> uh, cooldown of four as well offense 66 just a little bit higher and armor piercing 80 as well and it has the same crit base uh, at least at rank one <clears throat> and um, so there's that, that unit. The railgun tank <clears throat> can hit all three spaces as well. The railgun buggy as well will hit all three spaces. And the damage reduces as it gets past each row. Um, but the cool thing is with these guys is you can move this to the unit. So you can even go all the way to the back and hit get the most damage on whatever unit you want. <clears throat> uh, the railgun sniper uh, is not ready to shoot from the beginning. It has a cooldown of two. And uh, so its prep time is two, cooldown of one. Um, <clears throat> ammo used one. S uh, the offense is higher, so it doesn't miss as much. And because the offense is higher, you are going to get um, more hit points. Uh, but the armor piercing for the sniper is a hundred percent. So that is uh, better. Vehicle, crit against vehicles are already at 30% and 15 against soldiers. So there's a lot greater chance you're going to get max damage on <clears throat> with the sniper. But with his low health at rank 1, 250 hit points, he dies pretty quickly. Um, not a lot of defense uh, on either of these two units. Okay, so here they are in battle. <clears throat> I wanted to freeze a few guys so that they don't uh, I don't want my uh, railgun sniper to get killed so I'm going to try to freeze this cannon in the back and I didn't <clears throat> so let's try to, to let's just see how the railgun tank is going to do against uh, this mega tank and the mega tank uh, super tank, sorry. That's 565 hit points, this guy over here. So I'm going to... Alright, got 125. You notice it lets a lot of armor because 80% of that takes off from its from its health, not its armor. So you'll see when you use these guys, it, it leaves a lot uh, of its armor still on these guys, but it's still very effective. Uh, not as much with that. <clears throat> almost lost my uh, sniper here. The sniper only hits two rows. 
Uh, so it's only going to have two. But let's shoot this uh, tank over here and I'll show you. <clears throat> a lot better crit rate, a lot better chance that he's going to do some major damage. Uh, so he's still waiting his cooldown. So they all have the same. <clears throat> it takes four rounds after they shoot uh, to hit. So far at rank one, the sniper has been the most effective at killing units, has the most power. But in Battle Nations, anything that has the most power, <clears throat> unless it's a mega tank, typically is going to be something that gets killed pretty easily, as you can already see. Uh, right here, my railgun sniper only has 31 hit points left. So, <clears throat> I don't want to get him killed because healing that guy takes a laurel and uh, two hours, so I don't want to, uh, I don't want to do that. Let me go, I didn't mean to go here. Let me go to something perfect. Alright, let's use let's use a couple of megas on the front, or mega up front here, and let's use the buggy. Let's put all three of them back here so they can't get hit. So this will give you um, yeah, the rail gun trooper. <clears throat> Alright. So uh, these guys, three of these guys, I believe, have the same health here. 550. And this guy has 500. So these guys have, this guy has a cooldown period of two. These guys are ready to fire right out of the box. So let's see what kind of damage he does here. Okay, didn't get a crit, but got 140 uh, damage. <clears throat> this guy, 136. So, not too much a difference between rank 2 with the tank and the buggy. The big difference you're getting is armor and hit points, whereas the, uh, the buggy doesn't have any armor, neither does the, the sniper. <clears throat> Alright, let's see how well the sniper does against these two guys. And I wasn't surprised. He got a crit. Uh, he's very good at getting crits and points. Um, a lot of people have said they really don't like the Railgun Sniper, uh, that it's not been very useful. And I think it needs to be ranked up so it'll be more useful. Uh, once it gets higher ranks, it'll have more hit points. And its uh, crits will go up. And also its offense as well as uh, its power. So... I just think the unit's just going to get better. Uh, I think the railgun tank is going to get better as well. As it goes up, its offense will go up. It'll miss a lot less, and plus it's going to get stronger with more armor. So you'll be able to put it uh, anywhere you're on, where, where you want to on the board. <clears throat> but this is... Um, let's just pass. Out of these three units right now, I like the sniper because he does more damage. But I like the tank because it has the potential, the tank has the potential to be something that you can use against the Ancient Sentinel because it's of its arming, armor piercing. So I think once it's ranked up to 6, it will be, it may be useful if you have several of those against the Ancient Sentinel. <clears throat> the Railgun Sniper may too by then, uh, we'll see. Uh, 154, not bad. Um, so, and then you have to wait four rounds each time. That's the only thing about those guys, is the cooldown period. Okay, so that's just my little review of the new railgun uh, units that are out so far. I'll um, try to do some more videos with them, showing uh, what more of their capabilities are. <clears throat> um, and uh, I'm getting ready to fight the Ancient Sentinel again uh, with my new boar, waiting for some stuff to heal still after the boss strike. But uh, I'll be putting out some more videos uh, pretty soon. If there's something you'd like to see, just leave a comment. And uh, also subscribe. Uh, appreciate you guys getting uh, getting it up to 168 subscribers. Uh, find, tell your friends about me. Uh, share the video. And uh, let's get to 200 so I can do another special video. If you got any ideas for that, I'd like to hear that as well. All right, guys. Uh, enjoy Battle Nations. And uh, good luck finding... Uh, a new guild if you're still if you're looking for one 
And if you're in a great guild, uh, good job keeping on.